we identified a, a problem uh, for our customers and, and really one that they had shared with us. Um, and the, and the punchline is, is a lot of sellers would say, PayPal always holds my money. Um, so what do we look at? Uh, in terms of that problem, we said, well, it's not true, but our customers think it, so we need to make it clear and provide that commitment that we're not going to hold their money. Um, so we came up with a new branded experience in which we say, you know what, we're, we're not going to hold your money. It's your money. <laughs> You're important to us. And uh, um, we're also not going to change your mind tomorrow. So we're going to make that commitment to you that we're, you, you, it, as you continue to operate and grow your business, you will have your money faster than anybody else can give your money, even before it settles uh, in your account. And so we came up with that idea. We created an experience. We tested it in both user research and with some pretty engaged and vocal customers um, and got their feedback and launched it in probably a six-week period of time. Um, and we announced it publicly the second week of September. Um, and it's now live with almost 4 million sellers worldwide of that 18 million or 19 million that I mentioned to you. Um, so the steps along the way that we also uh, applied in, as opposed to just kind of coming up with the idea, iterating on the design and the concepts and the, how the technology would work, um, but also figured out how we would operate and create, provide a differentiated experience for these customers that needed to talk to a customer service person. or um, ensuring that we had the right level of information from a, a comprehension. Why is this something new? PayPal always gives me my money in real time. Um, but being able to uh, differentiate and, and uh, message the value proposition is something that we also did. Uh, and then also for our biggest customers, we also had to train some internal folks, our account managers and whatnot um, on that. So those are the um, kind of the main steps. We also figured out, okay, what's our, going to be our definition of success and how are we going to measure success besides just rolling it out to a bunch of different customers? Uh, are we going to be able to manage and, and, and monitor? Are they more engaged? Are they uh, expressing a higher level of satisfaction? Um, are they telling other people about it? Um, um, so we, we continue to monitor kind of the performance, so to speak, of these, this new experience. It's not, and again, it's not something that's rocket science or necessarily something that we didn't do before, but we, we did shift that kind of mindset away from the negative to focus on being the best at what we do to get them their money because we trust them as a seller. Um, so those are some of the steps that, that we took.